Police in Nigeria have used tear gas to disperse demonstrators in the capital Abuja and the northern city of Kano as thousands of people in cities across the country joined rallies to protest the high cost of living. Hello viewers and welcome back to our YouTube channel. The country is struggling with soaring inflation and a sharply devalued Naira after President Bola Ahmed Tinubu ended a costly fuel subsidy and liberalized the currency more than a year ago to improve the economy. Tagged and bad governance in Nigeria, the protest movement won support with an online campaign, but officials had warned against attempts to copy recent violent demonstrations in Kenya, where protesters forced the government to abandon new taxes. Yeah. Many Nigerians are struggling with high costs. Food inflation is at 40% and fuel is triple the price from a year ago. But others, we are also wary about insecurity around protests. In Kano, the country's second largest city, protesters set fire to tires outside the state governor's office and police responded with tear gas, forcing most of the demonstrators back. Protesters later touched and ransacked a digital center of the Nigerian Communications Commission near the governor's office, and police fired shots in the air to disperse them. But it is said that it was being done by hoodlums who were paid to disrupt the protest. In Abuja, security forces blocked off roads leading to Eagle Square, one of the planned protest sites and fired tear gas and set up barbed wire fence to prevent several hundreds of protesters from reaching the park. Some 1,000 people marched peacefully in the mainland area of the economic capital, Lagos, where they chanted Tinibu Ole and Tinibu must go, calling the president the Yoruba language for thief. Of course, he is a thief for stealing the people's mandate during the 2023 general elections. Hundreds of protesters came out in the northeastern city of Meduguri in Bauchi state and several other states across the country. As many as seven people have died after clashes between Nigerian security personnel and citizens on the first day of a week-long nationwide protest against bad governance and cost of living. Six people are said to have pie in Mina, the capital city of Niger State, and one also pie in Kano State. 
Many are also reported to have been hit by stray bullets shot by the Nigerian police. Security personnel and armored trucks were deployed in many cities and towns. In Lagos, where many businesses were closed for the day, one middle-aged woman carried an empty pot, drumming and chanting as she followed younger protesters. The catalyst for mass action nationwide was the hike in everyday commodities owing to multiple policy changes, in particular the removal of the popular but controversial fuel subsidy. That has caused hunger for millions and squeezed more people out of Nigeria's thinning middle class, forced youth groups to mobilize for mass action. The protest began a few days before scheduled in Niger State, despite being planned for Thursday. Analysts say the change in timing and the fact they began in the north, where for decades protests against socio-economic conditions have been slower to catch up, indicates the depth of frustration in the country. The government has been scrambling for several weeks in the build-up to the protest, fearing a Kenya-type mass action. On Thursday, there were more security personnel than protesters in some cities, Scores of pro-government protesters were also out to counter demonstrations in parts of Lagos and in the north, but found little resistance. It shocked me. It'd be like say tear gas actually causes tears. <sighs> so as you can see, we are the only. I'm the only one here. See the so um, the police there. Those are the protesters. I refuse to go back. Because what did we do wrong? I didn't do anything wrong. We had the, the protesters. Yeah, so please. And I don't blame the police because they follow orders. Please. This is what causes chaos when they are protesting, when you try to stop the act. So please, let us continue working. People of Zamfara, we are here for you. People of Katsina, people that are hungry, people in Lagos, people in Benue. I especially have the people of Zamfara and Katsina at heart. I don't know anybody in Zamfara, but so but I have them hand because they are constantly and no one is doing anything about it. I'm surprised that the government has so much um, police and social purposes, but they refuse to deploy them to, to where they are actually needed. Before, if you want to make a part of our cross, you can use 1,000. Now, you stand up to 5,000. We don't give our children the food we're supposed to give them again because these are too expensive. I bought this, we are not doing 1,000 naira. Half bottle. All yours is 500 naira, just three pieces. Baba is 1,000 naira. They don't even reach that thing. Where are we going to? We are dying, you know. Before, this is not 300. I bought not 300. This is not 50. I've been there naira before. Now, 1,000 naira, 1,000 naira, 500 naira. That's in 2,5. People where they have a family, you call. Me, every single lady. And they buy a 2,5. What are people not, when not feel buy a? How, how they want to survive? People to send their children to school is a problem. So we need better Nigeria. Let the food turn down. Other things can be happening. Food, let it turn down so that we can eat and take care of ourselves. The suffering is too much. We are suffering. We are hungry. We are hungry. We cannot afford anything in the market. Let peace reign. Let peace reign so that we have better Nigeria. This is what we want. It's really bad for the people not to have love and confidence in their ruler. If a protest scheduled for one week has such a turnout on the first day, who knows how it would be in days to come? So the big question is, who voted for Tinubu? Because obviously, a large number of Nigerians are against his administration. He's just a very bad omen for him and his cabinet members. Let's all try to take it easy while we also speak our minds and let the world know that Nigeria is currently going down the drain. Drop your comments in the comment section, hit the like button, share, turn on your notification for more trending videos.